In this video tutorial, I will try to explain how to work with the expression editor inside Maya and what it is used for and the benefits of using the expression editor. Now the expression editor dialog box in Maya is used for kind of code certain functionality for certain setups. So for example, you can use the expression editor to code the behavior or the control for certain objects. For example, this is used a lot for the rigging process. And so I will try to explain the expression editor by trying to create some objects here inside Maya. So I will go ahead and create a sphere, move that to the side, create a cube here at the center and move that here. Or we can you leave it here at the center either way here so these are the two objects that I am about to use to illustrate and demonstrate more about the expression editor now the expression editor here I will use that to control the movement of this cube here in the Y axis okay so I will control that using the expression editor and the parameter that will drive that movement here is going to be the Y axis the translate y axis of the sphere so i want when the sphere goes down i want the cube to go up okay this can be done using also the set driven key from the animation menu bar you can also do that using the set driven key dialog box okay i have a dedicated video tutorial for the set driven key feel free to check that out if you want to learn more about how to set up driven keys inside maya so this is can also be created using the set driven key however the expression editor is more flexible and using some code not too much so don't freak out <laughs> we are not going to be doing something crazy using the code or using programming just some lines of code that i will go ahead and guide you through step by step on how to do and how to code some simple lines and by doing so you can have more flexibility than the set driven key dialog box and you can do probably anything you think of here inside maya not only in 3d rigging but in any kind of workflow or purpose inside maya so let's go ahead and first see where to get the expression editor you can for example here select a certain channel in the objects that you want to be the controller for example here we can select since we want the y-axis to be the driver we can select that and use the edit tab here and here is the expression dialog box so here is the expression editor or you can go ahead and go to the windows animation editors and here's the expression editor all the way in the bottom okay so here as well we can go and grab that now the way that the expression editor here works is it lists the objects that you select here in the left side here and it lists all the channels that that object has okay so every channel that you see here is listed right here as well and so you can either select by object so once you select any object you can see that it's reflect that here so if I select the sphere it is listed here once I select the cube now it is the cube that is shown here and if you go ahead and switch that this by objects attribute name which is the behavior that we are now getting we can go ahead and switch that to the by expression name and now we can go ahead and select by the expressions that we're going to be setting up you can see now it is empty because we didn't create any expressions yet so let's go ahead and switch to the by attribute name now we want to select the object that we want to be the driver and here you can see that we have the channels that we want to use and the one that we will be using in this case since in this example so this is just an example we want to use the y-axis of the sphere to drive the y-axis of the cube in an inverse or the opposite way so we will see how that is going to be created here and now you will select the translate y since this is the axis that we want to be the driver 
and right away you can see that the selected objects and attribute here has been changed or updated to reflect the channel here that we select each time we select a channel it is reflected here so the one that we will select is the translate y now this translate here of the sphere you can see that this is kind of programming kind of the classes and the methods if you have a little bit of background on the objects oriented programming so this you think you can think of this like the method that belongs to this objects here so we have this objects this is the sphere objects and this is the method of that sphere objects however i don't want to overcomplicate things here especially if you don't know anything about programming so you can think of this like the just the translate y of the sphere so this is the path that leads to that translate y channel so let's go ahead and copy that and we can go ahead and use here is the expression window that we will be working with to create the expressions however one thing that i would like to mention here that is very important is that this expression editor here can be tricky sometime that's the reason why we will create this comment symbol here so this is the comment symbol and anything that comes after will not be evaluated by maya so anything here i can type in anything here maya will never evaluate this line here because when it sees this double slash here this symbol here it knows that this is a comment line that we can use for a bit of organizing our code so you can for example type in here some info about your code and explain a lot of things that your code does okay and also this can serve in preventing our expression here from being wiped out so let's say for example that this is the expression so this is a valid expression with just a line that is not evaluated we can hit the create tab here and take a look at what's going to happen yes we have created an expression however let's say for example that we select another object boom at first glance it might seem that this expression here has been wiped out however this is not the case it is just Maya I've gone ahead and select another object and you can see that even I've, if I select the previous object here that we have plugged in that expression you can see that the expression has gone this is why it is so important to start with a comment line and hit the create and then you can go and switch this option here the select filter option from the by objects attribute name to by expression name and here is the expression that we have created with that comment line here so this is a very important note that you want to take into consideration always make sure to start your expression with a comment line then hit the create and give your expression a name i forgot to rename it here you can rename it from this field here to let's go ahead and do for example test expression and hit the ok and that has been renamed you can see here and even now if i go ahead and switch between objects since we have this select filter set to by expression name it lists all the expression that were created and so even if i select other objects maya will keep all those expression that were created listed here in the expressions section so that's a very important note so always be careful now let's go ahead and proceed with our expression here so let's give this comment some information let's for example type in here since this is not going to be evaluated so i will type in for example a little bit of a note to know what this code is all about i can go ahead and for example type in control the movement of the cube in the y axis so it's a bit of information a quick note to know what the code is going to be all about and so i can now go ahead and press the enter key to move the lines below and now we are going to be setting up some real code so this is just 
a comment line and now we are going to be setting some real code now how this is going to be working is we want this translate y of the sphere here to control the translate y of the cube so we're going to select the cube here or the translate y cube so we will we can go ahead and bring the path that leads us to the y channel of the cube we can go in and type in p cube always make sure to pronounce the names correctly otherwise maya will give you errors and will not understand which objects you want to link together okay so always be careful so this is going to be b cube one dot translate y and here we want to put an equal but before i'm going to do that i will go ahead and show you another note about the naming of the channels here i think by default maya comes with this nice display of this channel here you can see that each channel name is being capitalized so the first letter here is capital however if you put the first letter here capital this is not going to work you can see that i have put here a lower case so this is the true representation of the channels here so the way to show the real representation of these channels here by going to the edit and all the way down to channel names and you want to select this long here by default it is going to be at nice but you want to change that to long and you can see this is the true representation of the fields and channels here of your objects and now you can go ahead and make sure that you pronounce this correctly okay you can also go ahead and let me copy that and you can go to the by objects here and you can select the objects and you can grab that from here as well copy that and go to the by expression name you can see that i have not saved that expression but i will go ahead and quickly redo that so control the movement of the cube y axis okay great let's make sure to edit so this has been saved now we can go ahead and put in an equal sign here and next we want now this translate y here to be controlled with the sphere translate y let's go ahead and make sure by expression is selected so we don't accidentally lose our expression progress here and let's select the sphere you can see that the sphere has a name of p sphere one so let's copy that bring that to here and let's go in and reach out to that translate y channel so okay translate y the y is capital here so be careful and we want that to control this expression here so now if we go ahead and always make sure to put in semicolon at the end and let's hit the edit and let's do a quick test and see if that is has worked successfully or not so let's go ahead and start adjusting this sphere here and right away you can see that I'm only driving the sphere y axis of the translate channel and you can see that also this cube here has been also affected by that expression you can see that the expression you know that your objects has an expression by this kind of purple color here so this purple color indicate that you are having a expression editor connection here and so you can see that this value here is the exact same one that is listed here in the cube y channel and now we are able to control the y movement of the cube using the y axis of the sphere and we can do much further than that actually let's bring that back to the previous position we can go ahead actually and reverse the movement so for example i want that when i start moving this cube up i want the the sphere sorry to go up i want the cube to go down we can do that easily by putting in a minus sign here so the expression editor you can do a lot of mathematics here so you can do anything you can do a coding you can do mathematics 
and you also have here this insert function that you can get a lot of mathematics function as well as random function vector function conversions array and so much more so you can do anything you want with the expression editor that's why when i first started the video here i told you that the expression editor is very powerful and you can do pretty much anything with inside maya so we can go ahead and actually put in a minus this is an equation here so we can put a minus here in front of the piece here and let's hit the edit and let's see if that has successfully reversed the movement and here's the reversed movement so pretty cool stuff right so very simple it might seem that the expression editor is a little bit complicated at first glance however it is not it is very simple to use and once you start using it quite often you will get the hang of it very quickly and you start creating some really nice and sophisticated setups with so you can see now the by just plugging in that minus sign we are able to reverse the action of that cube oh, really cool stuff right so that's how the expression editor works in a nutshell this is a very powerful editor inside Maya again this you can use the expression editor to do pretty much anything you think of inside Maya you can create some very sophisticated setups in terms of animation 3d rigging and pretty much anything here inside Maya so that is it for this video here we have learned how to use the expression editor and how that can be really useful here inside Maya